Hey everyone, it is Jennifer Hour. Happy, happy, happy Halloween. I know most of you are probably out trick-or-treating when this is going live, which is perfectly fine. It, it really is. I hope you all are. My kids just went out with my husband. Unfortunately, I injured my knee about a week or so ago when doing a Facebook Live video tour of one of the playgrounds uh, or the most recent one that we brought you. So no worries, it'll be fine. It just needs some more rest. But, <clears throat> excuse me. I wanted, before the night was over, I wanted to hop on with my funny switch witch story slash warning. Hey, Melanie. Um, and I think Melanie knows this story. Um, and I'm surprised Melanie's not out trick-or-treating, but it's all good. Maybe she's out putting out the candy. Um, I'm going to turn off the lights. My friend said, no, just stay. Rest, put up the knees. And so that's what I'm going to do. But <clears throat> I have a funny, embarrassing like I said, switch switch story, because we have done the switch switch at my house for a number of years. Um, my kids are getting on to me that they're a little disappointed that the switch witch doesn't bring as good of a as good of a prize. Ah, oh, yes. Well, I I just the, the boys just ate a sandwich real quick, um, and so I just took a phone call from somebody who wanted to know where to go trick or treating in New Jersey. So, um, <clears throat> if you're still trying to figure out where to go, we do have our listing. You know, you can either go to NewJerseyTrickOrTreating.com, which will redirect you back to our site, or you can just go look at our site, and we have the trick or treat times from across the state. So whether or not you are trick-or-treating in your neighborhood or need a new one, that is there. But, so here's what I need to tell you about the Switch Witch. Traditionally, if, if you weren't familiar, we had a great discussion um, on our Facebook page a few days ago about the Switch Witch. But the idea with the Switch Witch is that at the end of the trick-or-treating, the kids bring back and their candy, they leave their candy somewhere in the house. And then overnight, the Switch Witch leaves a present in the morning. That way the kids have that as a better kind of reward or better for them than just necessarily having all that candy um, and they enjoy hi crystal and so that they enjoy the experience of trick-or-treating without necessarily so much candy and so the way that we've done it within some sort of moderation with my own kids is that they come back we sort through everything we decide what we're going to donate because we do donate some of the candy to our first responders um, and where else we think that that will make sense to donate. And the kids get to pick a few favorites and then what's left ends up going to the Switch Witch, which has usually always worked out for us. But apparently last year, and I'm probably gonna have to say maybe I'm to blame for this because I'm the mom in the house, the Switch Witch did not necessarily leave the candy in such a great spot. In fact, the Switch Witch was not really thinking about where she left it until this past summer when I was in the garage I found some candy wrappers around the garage and my first inclination was okay well maybe my kids were sneaking maybe the teenager the, the oldest was sneaking candy into the garage we do have an art studio there kind of crafting space for them but then it got to be there were just too many candy wrappers around the garage and then I found out where they were from so apparently, and again, I wish I could blame my husband, but I am probably guilty. The bat, there was a bag of candy on top of one of our shelving units on top of a bin. Someone, some creatures, and again, I can't really blame this on kids, helped themselves to candy. There must have been a Halloween party going on in my garage all summer long or ever since, I, I don't want to say since last Halloween, but the creatures creatures, rats, I don't want to really think too much about what it must have been, really enjoy candy. So much so that they can chew through something and take what they want and scatter themselves all amongst the garage. We pretty much ended up this past summer emptying everything out of the garage. It was gross and disgusting. You're right, Melanie. I should, and I don't know why. Maybe got caught up in whatever normally we do donate it right away or we hide it somewhere in the house i'm not sure what the heck like i said i wish i could blame my husband i'm not sure why the heck got in the garage uh, but it did so if you do the switch which that is my warning um it was bad it was gross it was nasty um and i will tell you obviously it was embarrassing um if you do the switch which Tomorrow when your kids go to school, get rid of the candy. Whether you donate it, whether you give it to a buyback, um, whatever you do, get rid of it or freeze it or do something. You know, one of the other things, and Melanie's probably already got it scheduled to go up on the Facebook page tomorrow, is that we have all these 
amazing recipes of what kind of desserts you can create with Halloween candy. Your kids don't need to know any better, you know, if you're doing the Switch Witch, but um, we've also donated in years past. We've donated some to our police department, our fire department, as well as our local EMTs put in a nice gift basket. They need that sugar to get through those long shifts. So whatever you do, whether you're doing the Switch Witch or not, if whatever you do with that candy that you save, you know, maybe you're trying to have your own private stash, make sure that you are putting it in a safe place, not the garage, not in the attic. So think about that um, as you kiss the kids goodnight, as you hopefully can calm them down. Um, keep those words of warning um, in mind. You don't want to stumble upon any surprises this summer in the garage or wherever you uh, don't want them at, or I guess which is anywhere. So. Enjoy. I am going to turn off the lights and maybe take some quiet time. Maybe work on some, start working on some of our Christmas content for you because apparently some people are already in the mood for Christmas and have been searching on the site for that. Uh, if you are still looking for trick-or-treating places, please do take a look at our list. Please share it with your friends. This is definitely the busiest day of the year on the Jersey Family Fun site. So if it takes a moment or two to load up, you know, bear with us, but we have the most complete information that I believe is out there. So thank you so much. Show me your pictures of your kids trick-or-treating. I'm about to post one of mine, and we hope you all have a happy Halloween. Thank you.